sweet little creature. Please don't wake up my spiderlings with all of your unnecessary wiggling. I finally got all 1,000 of those little darlings snug and cradled in my web. If they sleep, that's all the more energy I can spend on you and your wrapping. Yes, you poor thing. Of course you need me. You're so lucky I found you wandering about before the giant owls woke up. Oh, it doesn't matter what you were doing or where you were going. You're safe now. I'm not sure why I felt the need to care for you. I suppose it's a credit to your specialness. Nonetheless, I appreciate your stillness while I weave this web all about you. And I need to make sure that the breeze doesn't chill you or that you get carried off by some rogue leaf. Yes. The knots of my web are tight, but not too tight. My patterns distribute your weight in just the right ways. I believe, currently, that there is a war going on in this forest. Not that I truly care about why there's chaos. All I truly care about is the fact that I find that chaos soothing. Yes, it is soothing that I can watch danger all about me, but know myself to be secret and safe. Don't you agree? Being an unseen spectator there in the business of others, you get to imagine who they are in their own life's narrative. You can imagine what the line of fate that led them to your eyeline was like before this moment. And I cannot be grateful enough that you and I, Strings, found each other. Yes, yes, imagine, imagine, imagine if I didn't find you. Oh, I believe you would have been caught flat-footed, and you would have been picked up and carried off into the night. Now, instead, you're safe under this giant tree, and you have a blanket of my care, keeping your feet warm, but not too warm. And your legs are supported, but they are not squeezed. And I can move up to your rib cage, but I must ask if you would like me to wrap up your arms, or I can leave them free. I know you creatures find a strange comfort in twiddling your thumbs. Oh, all right, then I will wrap your arms, and I will have them crossed like you are royalty. Yes, it'll keep you warmer, and it'll be easier for my webbing to seal in that heat and to protect you from the chilly summer night. Hmm, you poor creature, you seem so hungry. Well, luckily for you, I have plenty of food. I have some giant flies. And I've got some fairies that I haven't turned into husks from the inside out yet. Huh? Not interested? Well, you need to eat something. What about sundew drops? Have you ever had those? I've heard that they taste like, um, clear salt water taffy made of honeysuckle and passion flower. Would you want some? Here, 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 since your arms are wrapped, I can feed it to you. 
know, just be careful because it is extremely sticky. <laughs> Good, right? Yes, even I find that it tastes pretty good, even though I usually prefer <laughs> more protein. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I said usually prefer more protein. <laughs> Once again, I feel no inclination to eat you, quite the opposite. I feel the inclination to keep you safe. Now, would you like more sundew drops? It brings me happiness to see that you enjoy them. Though I should warn you, you shouldn't get too crazy about eating it. Too many sundew drops can give you tummy aches. But a little is fine if it's a snack while we watch other people's problems unravel around us. <sighs> oh dear. The distant chaos seems to have made my young stir three hours early, and I could do with a break. Hold on, creature. Let me rock this web safely, back and forth, and back and forth. Are you yourself feeling sleepy? A full tummy and a safe place. Yes, I would feel sleepy if I was you, too. Ironically, you are like a fly on the wall. But you are no fly. You are my new spiderling, safe under my guard, hidden from owls and songbirds and praying mantises, cursed with the same insomnia that you seem to have. Yes, creature, let your heavy eyelids fall more and more, and let your new mama look over you. Let your mind pass to fantasy and adventures hidden as we are from prying eyes. Perhaps in these dreams you are powerful. Perhaps you are weak. Perhaps you are both and neither at once. So yes, let me rock you back and forth and back and forth. I like to imagine places like this. Security on the edge of danger, almost untouchable. Like a decrepit castle where a demoness wanders about. Haunting everybody but me. Yes, for the feeling of rain pouring outside, but you are fully sheltered in a perfect tree. Yes, back and forth and back and forth. Such a sweet creature, such a lucky creature. So snug, like fairy royalty wrapped forever in my silk. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fret, sweet creature. I don't mean forever. Nothing is forever. Not even chaos or fear or worry. Time is like a thread momentarily tied between the fates of strangers, like you and I. But I'm glad I didn't remain a stranger, or that your fate was tied to the hunger of a passing giant owl, or of the crossing paths with violets. And you can now just watch that violence, sweetly and peacefully, swinging warmly and safely in the breeze. Hey y'all, it's Marsha O'Hare with Nightmare Public Broadcasting here to say dang we feel so safe in the arms of our dummy mommy. The people who we want to share dummy mommy's arms with are Zemo, Rocco, the Logosomancer, Eufyekla, Yogathul, Bingley, 
confused script, Lin's Nam, man of many bees, Justin Picanique 2, Organic Emerald, Spriggs, Sam Myers, Jackson Daniel 42, Osori, and Kyrim Zero. If you want to be bundled up and cradled by a spider dummy mommy, then become a patron right now and get access to some of the craziest shit on planet Earth. Now, y'all say say not there for me, I hear? Bye! <sighs> Dang, Pippin. I can't wait to go fishing again. Mm, summer's here. Music by Mugen.